If you're serious about solar powering your home and you want to get the best performance out of your renewable energy system, then you need to make use of some sort of intelligent load control. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how intelligent load control works and how it's about to get a whole lot smarter. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're talking about intelligent load control. Now, this is one of the things that I've been talking about on the channel for many years that if you want to have a truly successful home, solar, and battery system implementation, you want to incorporate some sort of intelligent load control into that system. So, so what do we mean by intelligent load control? Uh, very simply, what it means is the ability to turn on or turn off certain circuits or appliances within your home, depending on what your energy situation is. Um, and that energy situation could take into account a number of factors. For example, whether the utility grid is up or down. What is the status of how much solar power you have coming in? What is your battery status, your battery state of charge? Um, it also could have to do with the time of day and the electric rates that you pay based on the time of day when that appliance is trying to run. So all of those things could factor into whether or not you want to use an appliance at that time or to what level. So here, just to give you a couple of basic examples. Let's say you live in a place like California or Arizona where you have high on-peak rates during the later part of the afternoon and the early evening. In a situation like that, you may not want to run heavy loads like central air conditioning or your home electric vehicle charger during those peak rate hours. Or maybe you only want to allow them to run if there's enough solar power coming in to carry those loads directly. So again, you don't have to buy from the utility during peak rate hours. Now, another scenario could be during a grid blackout. Let's say the grid is down and you're running on solar and battery power alone. Well, let's say if it's evening hours, so you're basically having to power the entire house off the battery. If that battery falls below, let's say 50%, you may wanna cut off the electric clothes dryer as well as maybe one of your air conditioning units to preserve energy in that battery to make sure that you can last through the whole night to then when the next day, the solar panels can take over and recharge the battery. Now, one of the top contenders in this intelligent load control space is Lunar Energy. And I actually had a chance to tour their facility in Mountain View, California, and chat with their CEO to learn about what makes their load control solution one of the best available on the market. In fact, I'd like to share that interview with you now. This bridge is capable of installing smart breakers, which I'm gonna to demonstrate to you, where our philosophy on sort of breaker on load control is that you can either give homeowners a complete smart panel to control every single breaker of their home, uh, which is good for some use cases, but it's expensive and it's, it's a big overhaul of their home. Or you could focus on the four or five energy hungry loads in any home, which happen to be your HVAC, your EV charger, your oven, your dryer, your pool pump if you have one. So our vision was what if you had generation storage and control such that with every installation, an installer had four to five smart breakers in their truck and they put it on any breaker that the homeowner feels they want to shed in an outage. They want the ability to shed in an outage. So, you know, uh, we, we can go into the detail of load control at some point, but at, uh, right now I can share that this is a Eaton smart breaker. It's a two pole 60 amp breaker. Uh, they're coming up with 60, 50, 40 amp sizes. Um, so while we use an Eaton product and they make a great smart breaker right now, uh, this is AFCI, GFCI capable as well. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive compared to a full smart panel redo. More importantly, the installer who's buying and commissioning and installing a Lunar product can do all the commissioning and, and sort of uh, provisioning of these breakers through our uh, award-winning installation app. Like they don't have to actually go and use the, a third-party app or some other method. They could just use the Lunar app. As they commission the Lunar system and the maximizers, they can also commission the smart breakers. And we work very closely with Eaton for a very tight software integrated experience. Because our, our vision was installers should be in and out the same day, hopefully in half a day, by installing and commissioning all of this. What could a homeowner expect to see during a power outage? How does the system switch over and, 
Yeah. But what can we control on the app? Yeah, that's actually great. Let's, uh, you know, exactly how you said, let's simulate a power outage. Right now, you know, the solar and the battery are powering the home. Uh, as you can see, the loads are on. Mm -hmm. If you want, uh, there's a breaker out there. Could I request you to walk over there and turn the uh, okay. breaker on? What you're essentially doing is disconnecting this whole showroom from the grid power. Before, before you do that, mm -hmm. I would want you to notice how the appliances behave. So you want to keep your one hand at the breaker and, and see if any of the appliances turn off. Okay. Um, and are, we, are we killing both of them here? Uh, just one of them. The top be, or the I bottom? I think any, anyone should be fine. The top is good. Right. Yeah, the three, two, one. You could see... So there's a, a little flicker on the lights. slight flicker. Yeah. Depends on the type of LEDs you use, but the loads remained completely operational. And the app instantaneously shows you that, hey, your home is off-grid. Your lunar system is now powering your home. You're consuming two and a half kilowatts of power. Your battery is 89% charge, and your solar is producing around two and a half kilowatts. And it shows clearly that the grid is not operational. Mm -hmm. And then most importantly, it kind of shows you your lunar system should power your home until, you know, 11.30 p.m. And that changes with the amount of load that is being used in the house. So it's actually doing real-time calculations and predictions and telling you, this is how long your system will last with solar and lunar. So as you can see, the load just dropped because the oven's doing the PID cycling. Mm. And as the load dropped, you can see this time actually being extended over time in real time. Makes sense. So that real time visualization is what we provide to homeowners. And we provide a notification as soon as the outage happens because yeah. the homeowners don't even know that they lost power. Great. Yeah, I mean, the, cl the clocks on the stove, the microwave, all of that stayed on. The dryer stayed within its cycle. Yeah. No reset. Yeah. Great. And then when grid power comes back on? So when grid power comes back on, the, you, you will see the app actually resumes its operation and continues doing whatever program it was doing before the outage. So if you were on self-consumption, it will consume, it will resume doing self-consumption. If you were on Lunar AI, it'll uh, it'll... It'll recover that. Both of those transitions, on-grid to off-grid, off-grid to on-grid, are seamless. The homeowner has no idea uh, unless they're actually hearing it from their neighbors. Uh, or if they actually are outside, the LED lights here change to blue in off-grid. Got it. And okay. they're white when they are on-grid. Great. Great. Well, is there anything else that the homeowner should know about what's available, what kind of information or what kind of controls are available through the app? Yeah, absolutely. I think we talked about uh, how you can actually watch your home, uh, you know, predict your, how the lunar system can predict how much power is remaining uh, from your system. How long can it power? Sure. So one way to extend that is to go around your home and turn off some of the loads, which I just did right now. So if you turn off some loads... And if you turn off the oven right here, you can suddenly now see your loads completely drop. And, and then our running time increases. Running time yep. increases. So now this is a old school manual method. Imagine there's a PSPS event in California. It's a multi-day outage. And a homeowner and, his fam and their family are living with the solar and lunar system. And they want to extend their uh, outage duration. One way for them is to go around the home and turn off appliances and monitor this. Another intelligent way, as we discussed, is to automatically shed loads mm. through smart breakers, as we just talked about a little ago. So if I can actually go and turn on some of the loads again to demonstrate the smart breaker functionality, you could actually go here. And then, so you go down here and uh, so you can see this showroom right now has two smart breakers installed. One is the dryer, uh, sorry, one is the dryer and one is the lights. So at this moment, both of them are, you can see there's 500 watts or rather 50 watts in the dryer and 70 watts in the light. These are pretty efficient dryers. Very high efficiency. They yeah, heat, exactly. heat pump dryers. Heat pump dryers. But for exactly. most homes with an electric dryer, it's going to be it's a, gonna be a resistive two, heating element. It's going to be two to four kilowatts, yeah. exactly right. So 
what you could do instead of actually, yeah, it kicks in, the resistive element does kick in, so you went up okay. to 1.4 kilowatts. Um, you, what you could do uh, instead of actually running around the home and turning off loads is stay right here and turn this off. And you can see the, you could see the you breaker can, yep, click. I heard the breaker, yep. And the dryer turns off. You could do the same with the lights. Yeah, or even if you're not home. Even not, exactly, even if you're not at home, you could actually do that. So, so that elegance of everything being controlled through one product is what we provide. And so I can go back and turn the light on, turn the dryer on. So that's the manual control uh, through the smart breakers through the app. That's great, and it's near real time. I mean, you can you can't necessarily see the screen here, but it, within about a second of hitting the the button on the app, you can hear the the relay click in here, and the the, yeah. the loads are back on. And this is because of the close software integration between Lunar and Eaton. The two teams have worked really hard to make this a seamless smart home like experience. Uh, we didn't want this to be a you know 10, 20 second lag time. This needs to be as modern as any consumer appliance in people's homes. So that's why we've been we're focused so hard on that. The other way to actually also manage the outage, to your point, sometimes homeowners are not at home and they want to set certain sequences of their certain breakers such that they can, uh, the system can automatically turn them off when certain situation arises. So what you can do here is say, hey, the dryer, I want it to be moved to the automatic control, which means that switch off when the state of charge is below this threshold. Okay, so in, it's, so in this example, you have it set at an 80% threshold. So if the battery were to fall below 80% during an outage, dryer the dryer will automatically uh, uh, turn itself off. During installation, you can also turn off, uh, you can also put some breakers into an always off during grid outage. For example, many people don't want their EV charger. EV charger. Yep. So you could put that in the always off category. Or you could, as a homeowner, change them and put them into automatic or manual control. So that flexibility is what we offer and we believe that people will get a lot more comfortable with using solar and battery for extended power outages, which previously people have been like, well, can I manage my loads? Is it going to be enough? Well, now you can actually intelligently manage your loads and not have to worry about that two or three day extended outage mm. or actually choose to live off grid if you wanted to. There are lots of people who can do that too. Sure, sure. So this has been a discussion of intelligent load control. Um, I've got to tell you folks, I think in the future, intelligent load control is going to go even beyond just turning on and turning off entire circuits. I think what you're going to start seeing in the future is your home solar and battery equipment able to communicate with other appliances like your air conditioner, for example, and instead of just turning it on or off, be able to tell it, hey, throttle down to 30% so you can still have some cooling within the house, but again, would help you extend your running time during an outage or avoid incurring peak rates from the utility. But these, these systems are getting much more integrated. They're getting much more complex, which means for you installers and electricians out there, for those of you that can learn how to manage all of this, and, and you can manage that complexity and do it profitably, there's gonna be a huge opportunity for you with all this new smart home technology. Uh, again, it's, it's not just gonna be solar and battery as a soap pipe system. You're gonna have an entirely ho integrated home energy management system that includes solar panels, battery storage, load control, electric vehicle charging, uh, could be smart controls for your lighting, other appliances within the house, um, as well as a generator integration in some cases as well. So this has been a discussion of intelligent load control and how intelligent load control is about to get a whole lot smarter. Um, as always, if you enjoy the videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your recommendations and you can stay up to date with everything. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar, battery storage, or load control options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe you already have a price quote and you need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the right equipment and the best deal, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with a solar surge expert, uh, or just use the online calculator tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. But that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.